Hey, what's going on, invaders? Welcome to 66 Second Reviews, providing you wild and bizarre rock and roll albums every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Today is the last installment of this week's exclusively surf instrumental week at 66 Second Reviews. I want to also let you know that today's episode is brought to you by realpunkradio.bigcartel.com, providing you the suavest merch and t-shirts for your favorite online internet radio station. You can support the nonprofit DIY network by going to realpunkradio.bigcartel.com. Get some sweet shirts while you're at it. Today's 66 Second Review is all about this 2014 release on Hidden Volume Records. It's The Torments with their 7-inch single, The Creamer. This one was or submitted to us through the address listed in the description from Scott over at Hidden Volume. So thanks, man. This is a killer record. I dig this. If I had to categorize this with my tiny brain, I'd say that it falls into the genres of uh, lo-fi, trash, surf, surf instrumental stuff uh lo-fi and the trash for those of you fans when you hear that on the playlist it'll be next to uh davy allen and the arrows or the corman's possibly the cramps as well to give you an idea as to what it's going to be paired next to as well there's only two tracks on this because it is a seven inch single but both of them were added into rotation so awesome job with that it's a two-sider definitely a keeper this one you can get for yourself by going to hiddenvolume.com the label's website you can buy it there. There's still some in stock. There's only 300 of these made, though. So uh, you got to get them all you can. This one, you can see, it's got a sweet, cool, bright orange wax to it. Like I mentioned in the Delusion Airs 66-second review from yesterday, I'm uh, not too much of a, of a sucker for the colored vinyl, but something about the ones that Hidden Volume put out has got an extra pop to it. Now, this record came with a download card. I already gave it to one of my friends, so that way she can hear it, too. Um, I don't d download music at all, and we don't download it for the show, but... Uh, if you're into that, you can transfer it easily from your iPod. You don't have to do any of the ripping yourself or anything like that. But one of my favorite things about this record is you can see it's got a bunch of sweet clip art from all those spook show flyers from the 50s and 60s. I don't necessarily know what spook shows these are from, but maybe if you ask uh, Howie Pyro or Astro 138, they might be able to tell you because I know both those guys are pretty deep into that stuff. Also, uh, one other cool thing that came with this um, the first 50 records that are sold on that apparently come with this pack of badges. These are glow-in-the-dark one-inch badges, and there's faces on each of them. I'm not sure if you can see it there at the camera, but um, I'm assuming that each of the faces are members of the band. But there's just something awesome about the packaging to this, the, the lettering for the torments and the eyeball that's there. It looks like something that uh, Lance over at Thingmaker Creepy Cult would put out, if you ask me. Uh, these ones... I don't know if I'm going to bust this open because I like the packaging on it so much. It might be something I, I just look at. <laughs> but I dig it. I like it. This is a Torment. It's their 7-inch single. The Creamer. I'm recommending it. I, if I didn't already have it, I'd pay $11 out of my pocket to make sure it got inserted into my personal library. If you want to hear a track, though, we'll be playing one this Thursday during the Hang 10 at 810 Surf Instrumental segment. 20 minutes, of course, every night, every episode. We do at least 20 minutes of Surf Instrumentals. Uh, my name's Jake Noose. I'm telling you all about the Torments with their 2014 release on Hidden Volume Records. And I'm reminding you that nobody cares about your haircut. <laughs> 